But well, what are you doing? So this is sea bass. So this is Cajun. Um, literally, you've got, obviously, America's huge. Just to give you some idea, Texas, uh, three days to get across it. It yeah. uh, goes south of that, you've got Louisiana. This is sort of Cajun sort of food. I'm going to get onto this in a minute, but first of all, we'll talk about the fish. Over there, you would use redfish, which is similar to this one. This is a grey mullet. You can get things like red mullet now in the UK. Yeah. This is bream, this is gurnard, this is sea bass. So what you do is you start off with this mixture over here. And this here. is your rub. This, this is, is what goes on everything. This is your rub, yeah. Creole Cajun, different, because different influence, predominantly French. So you've got garlic and onion salt. We've got cayenne, paprika, oregano, thyme, dried, and then pepper and salt, and you've got this Cajun rub, but just smell that. And once you've made this up, you can keep <coughs> this and store it. Oh, God, this oh, is going to Oh, years, 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 years. Yeah. Steady. Years, years, years. You're just going to eat it. Years. It smells lovely. Mm. So we basically Cheers. just rub the fish over it, but because you've got the salt and pepper in there, no Ooh, need... It just went boop. Well, yeah. you would. Keep your, keep your <laughs> hand on it. But no need for any seasoning, of course, because we've got the salt and pepper in there with the garlic, salt and everything else. But with that, I'm going to do... Around America, there's so many influences. Predominantly, where this dish comes from, New Orleans, Yeah. this is French. <coughs> so and you could put... Could you put that rub on meat? Is that yes, like you can you use can it for use chicken, it, so... you can use it for beef, yeah. And shrimps is the predominant thing over in New Orleans. Oh, where, nice. So, New Orleans, famous for lots of things, of course, the music. Mm -hmm. uh, but amazing food. Yeah. Um, and you've got this Cajun influence, jambalaya. All on the bayou? From, all from that area, because of, because of the Mississippi River. Um, what, what you start off with with this is you start off with shallots. So you can put some garlic in here if you want. This is where you get the French influence with it. So all the shallots go in. Now, normally a beurre blanc is made with a combination of white wine mm -hmm. and vinegar. And what you do is you put the white wine or vinegar, and, or both if you wanted mm -hmm. to, in there. Just turn this up a little bit. Get that cooking. And then we reduce this down to almost nothing. So, now, you yeah. can see in there... It almost goes to nothing. Ooh, that smell. Ooh. Yeah, it's quite strong. It's lovely. Nothing. All right. There you go. Just showing them. Just nothing. softens them up. See? Yeah. There you go. That's a shot of nothing. Yeah, shot of nothing. <laughs> and then butter. Is it not very healthy, the food? Don't worry it? about that. All right. Don't just worry about it. Eat very much. <laughs> well, I just, I just wondered. The thing I mean, the fish, good, yes. In a rub to keep flavour, good. But then I just saw the amount of butter you put in there. The thing about maybe. America, you've got so much happening in the States. There is so much. In terms of food, when you think of America, how it's changed, think of it like the UK has yeah. changed over the years. You've got an amazing place, um, particularly in Sonoma and Napa. Yeah. Napa's famous for amazing wine, but also famous for amazing food. You've got the French, French Laundry there. I think you've got a picture of a guy Have called Thomas Keller um, and myself. Literally, Thomas Keller's the only American chef to hold two three star Michelin restaurants. Wow. One on the East Coast, one on the West Coast. Did you go there? Yes, we went there. Was, uh, it, was it amazing? It is amazing, yeah. And then you've got things like in Sonoma, <laughs> where I've never been to, but you have a restaurant called Single Thread, which is a new restaurant, probably the most talked about restaurant in the world, I would say, at the moment. Um, it's just gone straight in at two Michelin stars. Amazing sort of food. What sort of food? Um, it's quite unusual because the, the husband and wife team, uh, they trained a lot, actually trained in the UK, but a little bit in Japan. Uh, and because of, the, because of that, you get influences throughout. And it's called Single Thread because of the garden. She looks after the garden. Yeah. Um, and she becomes a florist in the evening. So this is the corn, sweet corn. Yeah. And all we do with this is literally just hot pan. Oh, right. And let it char. So don't touch it. Don't, you don't need to do anything with it. Just let it sit in the pan. Oh, my there. God, it's popping. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> popping Popcorn. Corn. Yeah. You've got two minutes, brother. All right, thank you. The sauce is nearly there. Is that just butter and shallots and yeah, wine? Well, the, the French call it a beurre blanc. This is where you get this influence oh from all around. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you are never coming to cook in my kitchen. You're a mess. <laughs> so, literally, the French, French would call this a classic beurre blanc. You can stabilise it with a bit of cream in there. Yeah. That's it. You've got a touch of salt. I'll let's bring this over. Oh, I'm going to like and that. And you've got this charred corn. How yummy is that? Nothing else. I'll leave a little bit on the side. So you can can I just try a little bit? It, it smells there, so like it popcorn. Ruin. Is that what popcorn is? No, no. Sorry? That's not, is it? No. Not well, it looks like that kernel thing, mm. whatever they are. It is so, so nice. And oh, then, of course, you've got the fish, which we can just lift this fish off. Now, the thing about this Cajun sort of thing, this is where it takes influences from all over the place. The Cajun would be French. So you've cooked that skin really, really well. Yeah, I mean, the and secret then flipping of it... Is... it non-stick pan, ideally, but th that's the idea, is you get this sort of... The, the, they would use this thing called a redfish over there, which is quite... The skin is quite thin, mm. 
but actually the scales are quite thick. So but the a, bass leave... is, a bass isn't a redfish, though, is it? No, they would leave the scales on and they would cook it on the barbecue what are with you the scales in there? on. Lime. This is this is where you get this acidity. Lime zest. About Forty seconds. Then. Lime juice. Mm -hmm. so, no rush. Sorry. Right, plenty of time. I'm not that really annoying person, but at least women will start. The end of the show is coming out. And then all we do is this <laughs> over here. Sauce on the top. But like oh, that goes on there. Yeah, bit of sauce. And then, of course, you've got the fish, which we can then lift oh, our fish over the top. Diving in. Before he's even put the fish on the plate. Wow. Oh, taste that, oh, that butter is amazing. But that's the butter sauce. Classic Burr Blanc. Oh. A little bit of lime over the top. Oh, my goodness. Cajun Creole. Very similar in terms of... They all start off with this, by the way. Mm. This is the holy trinity, they call it. Onions, bell peppers and, and celery and a lot of their cooking there. But that really flavour is so delicious. It's just so quick. Uh, thank Absolutely you. Stunning. Thank you very much. Pleasure. We look forward to watching the series as well.